and welcome to this new episode of Continuum Gaming and in this episode I will be talking in English of course as you may already have noticed. Yeah and today we are going to have a look at three different games again and that will be Ghostlight, Connect Fish Future and Terran of Road. My name is Gerald and as always I have a couple of different things with me. Um, one of them is different from, uh, from before because uh, I didn't charge my battery. So uh, I have to use another mouse here. But other than that, everything else should be what you already know. So it's a foldable keyboard, which is this one. And there is, is a game in the setup where I'm going to use the Xbox One as a wireless controller with. I will show you that later. And of course, as the main device of the whole setup here, we are using the Lumia 950XL, which is a Windows 10 mobile smartphone. Um, accompanying more or less, uh, or accompanied with a, with a Moso cover at the back, it's a Silverwood cover here. And uh, of course, the uh, Lumen 50XL has an USB C adapter at the bottom here, and so we can use this cable to, for instance, connect it to our display dock, which is standing at the side here, this little box. And the box itself is connected with TV and leather that we can show this desktop like experience controlled by all the different things I uh, showed you before on the big screen here and for instance play games which uh, we are going to do in this case or what we are going to do in this case. Yeah and so uh, I would say let's start with the first game. Oh first off if you want to know more about all of these please have a look at the top there. In the corner you will find uh, additional videos to that whole topic where I'm describing that in depth a little bit more. Yeah, and so let's start with the first game. The first game is Ghost Light. And for that I'm going to go to my all apps list, of course. Going at this point, and here I think I have a couple of them, and there might be Ghost Light, there it is. Ghost Light it, uh, is a little game where you are trying to avoid obstacles with some kind of a magic or ghosty light, whatever you want to call that. It. It's Ghost Light, so maybe Ghost is a good idea. And um, yeah, in the end what you can see here is it's really pretty simple, but I would uh, recommend you to switch to one setting which can be done at this point. So click on that and then go to tap control, uh, to tap control instead of swipe control. Um, for instance, if you're going to play it with your smartphone alone and not on the big screen and with a mouse or something, it might be okay to use swipe because then you can swipe easier. But uh, for this, in this case, I would recommend to use tap control because then you just have to click on one of the sides of the screen to uh, more or less move the light to that side and that's what we are going to use here. So just use that, click on OK and after that you can just go to, uh, to play. And what's going to happen here is, as you can see, we have this little light part here and as you can see, if I now click on one side of the uh, part here and hold the mouse button, that's extremely important. Um, if you hold the mouse button, then your little light, which is going on this track here all the time, is going to switch well, to switch the position. And of course, as you can see, there are a little bit of other lights available here, which you can collect and like that, we can try to avoid those obstacles uh, which are coming there. And this is more or less what the game is all about. And you want to have a very high high score. And uh, what you can see here, uh, furthermore, is that, for instance, if you have a look at the color of your light, your light is at the start uh, white, then it's going to be yellow, and then it's red, and then it's over. So you have more or less three different. Um, state there and like that there are a couple of different um, yeah, lives more or less you can play with. So uh, if you hit an obstacle for the first time or something it's not going to kill you but you should be aware of it. Um, and very important hold the mouse button on the right side you want uh, the light to switch to because otherwise it's going to be return to the default state which is of course a track you are. Yeah, and so you try to get the highest high score, and this is more or less what this game is all about. It's pretty in, pretty easy, but very nice to play. I like the gameplay a lot. And uh, if you'd like to uh, try it out, please try it out. It's really fun if you have a couple of minutes to, to get rid of, more or less. Okay, so um, I would say we just go out here because there's not much more to see at this point. 
but still very nice game if you like those kind of simple games it's really a nice one and you should have a look at that so the next game we are going to have a look at is connect fish future don't ask me why that name is um, it's just uh, like that i can't say anything about it oh we can just get rid of this of course this is another game i'm trying out at the moment but nothing for now okay and now i will just put in connect I think that might already be enough. Yeah, there it is. Connect Fish Future. Um, this is a little game where you are trying more or less to do sort of a memory game, but I'm not sure how to, uh, to call it. And what you will see here is always this information that if you want to play in full screen without all the uh, different uh, apps here, um, you can of course do that, but you don't have to. You can of course play it like this too. So do whatever you want. I will go to no in this case. You will be asked a couple of times uh, if you will just click it away now. It's uh, going to be there again. And yeah, now you can see we have of course play that and we have of course an uh, option to, uh, to set stuff up. It's not really very helpful or something as you can see. Um, we can only set the music and the sound off and that's more or less it. And after that just go to play. And if you click on that, you will be presented with a couple of different levels here. Let's wait a second. There we are. Okay, and a little bit of, of advertisement again. So, as mentioned before, if you want to get rid of that, please, uh, please consider buying this. Otherwise, just jump over it. And as you can see, here is a level overview, and you can see I have played the first five uh, levels already. So we can, for instance, have a look at six or go to the first one. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to play the first one, the sixth one here. And as you can see, you have a timer which is running out, and you have a couple of different other parts here to play with. And what you now have to do is you have to combine different um, images here, so like a memory, but not quite. Um, with each other and you have to have a clear path to go ghost there. So I will show you what I mean. Um, if for instance I'm trying to connect those two, I just select one and the second one and as you can see there is a clear path where the, where the little card can go through and like this um, the two can be connected and we get this little uh, fish which, which is more or less freed like that and we want to free all the different fishes here of course. And in some situations if the pass for instance is just too complex it will not function and you will have to do it in a different way. And so please try to solve all this stuff and as you can see we would have, uh, have to be much faster than this. So no talking for me. And so we just have to retry it again. So I will, I will uh, turn around just to have a better overlook. And um, yeah, probably I'm going to drive the sound here a little bit down. And now I'm just going to play it again. And as you can see, we now have to be faster in this case. You can even, for instance, uh, select other parts here already, even if the uh, fish is no, not even set to be there. And as you can see, it's possible to do it very, very fast here. And yeah, this is more or less the game. It's, it's a small little game. As you can see, you can, uh, can create uh, such uh, bonuses. If you, for instance, put in a very fast fashion different um, pairs here together and uh, just try to get them together. And this is more or less what this whole game is all about. So just try to connect all the parts in this time you have. As you can see, it's not extremely hard to do that, at least not in, in the sixth level or something. And there you see it, we have uh, more or less finished this, uh, this level and we can go to the next level. And that is what the game is all about. It's pretty child friendly so if you want for instance to put, uh, to give your child something to play with it's a fine for them too and of course you can play it yourself if you for instance like this kind of memory based or memory kind of games here so just try to bring pairs of different uh, images together and that should be it 
for this game. Okay, so let's have a look at the last game of our setup here, which is Terran Off-Road. And this is a game where you are driving an off-road uh, truck, car, whatever, um, around with, for instance, a controller if you want to. So we are going to use a controller for that. Of course, you can, for instance, use your... your um, your keyboard too, it's, it depends on what you want to do there. And um, yeah, what you have to do here is to, to drive around in, in a quite, yeah, let's say rocky or hilly um, fashion here because there are no real, uh, real um, roads or something you're driving at this point, but you are trying to, to overcome hills in 3D. So this is a 3D game where you can, for instance, um, tune your, your car, your vehicle, whatever you buy, and uh, there are different uh, things to, to uh, do here and so let's start this up and I will just show you what I'm talking about here. So um, it's called Terran for some reason, Terran Offroad and it looks like a 2D game at the first uh, glance at the icon or something but it's not, it, it's really a quite nice 3D game. Um, just to mention it, if you play this for the first time, you will have a very bad frame rate on a smartphone, for instance. So um, you will have to go to the settings and, and uh, lower the settings a little bit. Um, after that, you can play it with a, with a reasonable smart, uh, frame rate then. And um, yeah, what you have to overcome there is that you first off, if you go to the game the first time, you will have to drive it because of such a kind of a tutorial which is already in a higher uh, graphical level. So you can't set it to a lower one, so you have to cope with the first try here and after that you can set it down and it should be fine. Okay, so um, for that I'm going to try to turn around here just to, uh, to have a better overview here and play it in a better way, fashion. And here you can see it, um, this is already um, after the first mission or the training mission I taught you. So um, if you, the first, you finish the first mission, you are going to be here. Let's get the audio a little bit down. And um, after that you can go to this screen if you finish the first one and then, uh, then you just go to this option here. And here you can, for instance, put in steering with the controller, which you should activate if you want to play it with this, of course. Otherwise, there are the other options like um, moving around your smartphone if you're playing it only on your smartphone. And of course, there is the uh, arrow keys part where you can do that and go from good to fast in this case if you're trying to play this uh, on a quality setting here. Yeah, and then. Um, you are more or less through, you can click on that again, so leave it like this. And now you can, for instance, have a look at the garage where you have this little, uh, this little um, car already for you. It's more or less looking like a Land Rover, a small one, but it's called Change Mover, of course, because uh, they didn't want to, to get any kind of, of lawsuits here. And uh, there's, uh, for instance, a Porsche Channel, not a Porsche Channel, but a Porsche Channel. And no, it's not Porsche, it's Porsche. I'm from that country where that is coming from. And uh, of course, like this, uh, the, the cars are, men, are named here. And then you can, for instance, um, have a look at this car. You can update them, you can have a different, or you have different possibilities here. For instance, if you click on that, as you can see, you have a couple of different options here. You can go to upgrade. And for instance, upgrade your engine, your powertrain, chassis or tires and stuff like that. And of course, you have a couple of, of thousand uh, euros or dollars, whatever, uh, available here. And you can just update that if you for, want, for instance, to update the tires, do that. Just click on that. Okay, we're going to do that. And then you can see you have the first uh, small um, part here. And there are, of course, more than that. And of course, you can, for instance, update your chassis too. As you can see, we have 9,000 9, left here. Powertrain, of course. And I think I will go and put all of those ones up. And after that, we are through. But as you can see, you have different options to, to upgrade your car here. And if you are through with that, just go to start. 
and you are gonna have different leagues here. So you can uh, play in the amateur, amateur league and in the pro league. First of you will have to finish the amateur league and after, as you can see we are in the Alps now for off-road training. And so just select that. Other ones are locked for now. This is the first training where, as I mentioned before, you don't, can't, uh, can't go down with uh, the quality settings, so you have to cope with a pretty bad frame rate there, but well, whatever, and after that you can just, for instance, use this. And um, now go to Offside Track, for instance, if you uh, try to play that now, you are going to see what this is all about. It's really off-road training, it's not about anything else here, and um, yeah. So click on start here, you could of course upgrade your car now, but click on start, after that you will see this little uh, bar here, it's pretty non-linear, so it's uh, going to take a little bit of time, and after that you can play with, for instance, the Xbox One S wireless controller, sometimes I have to restart this, so um, if I'm in the game, to get uh, to let the game notice that I have the uh, Xbox One Finance controller uh, available, I have to click long or press long on this button and press long again after that so it can reconnect and then it's going to work. I will see what's happening here, but in the end you can use this. Um, all you will use is more or less this um, this stick here because uh, it's going to be more or less um, steered with this one. And there's a little bit of a strange steering situation, I think. Because um, what you are going to do here is you are going to press, of course... Yeah, so I will have to do my little trick here. It's only for the first time you do this. I'm not sure why that is happening like that. But as you can see now we can drive with it. With it. And very important, um, you to steer your car, you always have to. Oh, come on. Okay. You always have to press in front of that. Uh, you always have to uh, press in front of that, and it's it's a little bit, or you have to get a little bit used to steering like that because always press front and after that try to drive around here by just going to the left front or the right front. So don't try to use uh, the stick in a way you might normally use it. I'm not even sure where I have to go. In general there should be some kind of a notification somewhere uh, over there. We have to go there. And um, yeah, most important, drive next to one of those traffic lights you are going to experience here. If you are, haven't dri driven next to one, as you can see here, my, my battery is going to drain here. But um, as you can see here, if you drive next to the one blinking, and you have to drive on the street for that, or on the road, whatever you want to call that, um, you really... Come on, break. And go over there. Okay. Uh, you have to drive next to that one, and after that you can, for instance, follow the next part and uh, if it's blinking it's uh, you are going to have to drive next to it if it's green everything is fine and if it's red you have missed all the different ones before and of course it's all about being fast here and now we have for instance to drive next to that one interesting i didn't have that till now let's see what's happening there Ah, it seems to be okay to drive that one around, but as you, as you may already have noticed, I'm trying to hold it in the camera, the, the steering is pretty interesting because you always have to press the stick to the front to play this. And I really find it hard to drive with that. Yeah, I know, my battery is draining. Um, I really find it hard to drive like that because 
I'm more used to it that I can, for instance, just go in the direction where I want to. Um, if you have that kind of problem, you can, for instance, use uh, use uh, um, use your formal keyboard or your keyboard for that and drive around with that. Um, so it's up to you if you want to play this with an Xbox One wireless controller or not. I think it could be optimized so that, for instance, uh, for for driving faster or something, so uh, doing gas or something, you would have to press one of the buttons instead of pressing all the time to the front, which is a little bit hard to play if you ask me, but whatever. I'm not sure if we are going to drive through the whole level. One of the levels can be pretty long if you ask me. And uh, as you can see, it's really not about driving on a road or something, it's really all about driving off-road, so really a cross-road drive path here. But pretty nicely done. And now we have to go over there. And next to that car, of course, too. can see my battery, battery is draining at the moment so it's too hot for it and my I have too many things connected to my uh, HD port here whatever but in the end this is how this game is played it's really a nice one it has nice graphics if you ask me it's pretty fun to play if you're not trying to to cope too much with the, with the steering, so if you want to have a different steering system, just use that. That's fine too. But I think we can go through it here. If I'm not totally... No, no, no! Okay, that would have been the final goal we would have to, uh, to accomplish here, but as you can see, that's not going to happen, we are going down at the moment and so we have to restart. But I will not do that at the moment. So I hope you, uh, you uh, see that this game could be a nice one if the temperatures are not at, I don't know, 40 degrees or something at the moment. So um, in the end, this is more or less the game. I hope you had fun with it. And try it out, it's really a nice car game, um, you should try it out and uh, especially if you do, uh, like to play it with the Xbox One and wireless controller, you might want to try it out, but I don't recommend it, because as I mentioned before, you have to steer by pressing this all the time up, so that you can, for instance, give gas or something to the, uh, to the car here to, uh, to increase the velocity. But the problem with that is that you have to steer with it too, so all you have to, uh, you can do here is to go to right and left for a little bit. If you, for instance, press the, uh, the stick to down or something, it's going to break the car, and that is more or less, uh, or to to, uh, to lower the uh, the velocity there, and uh, that is going to be a hard time for you to play with. But other, but other than that, if you want to play it, for instance, with a keyboard or something, it's pretty fun. Try it out. You would have probably have a nice time with it. So, thank you for watching. I would say we are going to leave this uh, this game now and thank you for watching, thank you for listening because we are at the end of this episode. I hope you found uh, one or two of the games uh, pretty interesting and want to play them. Try them out, they are really fun. Okay, and so thank you for watching, thank you for listening. We are going to see us in the next episode which is up at Sunday to Saturday or Saturday to Sunday next week. Um, hopefully uh, with another interesting uh, gaming setup. And so have a nice day. Thank you for listening. If you liked this video, please don't uh, leave a comment or something, for instance, uh, to tell me that you liked it. And of course, uh, give a thumbs up for that. And uh, if you didn't subscribe till now, you might want to do that too. So thank you for watching, thank you for listening, see you next week and have a nice week and bye. Bye.